Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. So I have been on a bit of a crystal kick lately, if you can't tell. Um, and so I bought a bunch of crystals and today I got the last one in the mail. And because I'm like a kid at Christmas, I can't wait to unbox them. So I've already unboxed them, been using them. Um, but I thought I would show you guys, um, the crystals I've gotten and where I got them all off Etsy. Um, I have started ordering crystal chips like this is fluorite um, because I don't really wear necklaces and this one came in a, in a box. It's amethyst, uh, chevron amethyst. It's gorgeous. I wear it every day. I love it. Um, it's so heavy and just awesome. But other than that, I don't really wear necklaces and I wanted some crystals especially fluorite uh, a few weeks ago it was calling me for some reason I needed to work with it I'm like how can I wear it um, so I figured out how to make bracelets so I actually made a fluorite bracelet and then this is turquoise and snowflake obsidian and then I have a fairy um, attached to it charm that I found randomly and then I just got some malachite um, so I have a malachite bracelet and this one came in the same gift box that this necklace did um, which is Mindful Souls, which I should be getting the next one here lately, here in a couple days. But Malachite is like one of my favorite stones because it's my favorite color. Um, it's very intense energy, um, it feels um, like. And then the fluorite is like this fun cleansing feeling. And then the other one is just like, it feels ancestral to me. This, this one, it feels tribal. And almost like uh, I'm with my fairy relatives. It's just weird. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show you some of my other crystals. And I have a bunch more of uh, chip crystals coming um, that I'm going to make a few more bracelets for. I've been just doing it for family, making bracelets for family and friends so far. But, yeah, really into it. But I thought I would show you guys the bigger crystals I've gotten. And I don't know if I'm doing these in any particular order. Um, uh, at all but before I show you those I want to show you these crystals or petrified wood or something that I found I went out to my husband's uncle's farm um, it's a good hour and a half two hours away middle of nowhere uh, lots of ponds and stuff but he had a lot of what appeared to be uh, crystals, river rocks, things like that in his sections of his yard. Um, this was in his driveway. Um, and this just looks like a piece of chipped brick. But as there is no brick around, it's just weird that it was in his all white gravel driveway. This one little piece of red something. Um, and it's pretty cool. And it does look, there, there's lines here. So it does, it makes me think it's either like a terracotta plant pot or brick but I found it very interesting in the white of his driveway there was this one piece of red um, stone that's probably man-made these however I don't think are man-made this one I it just looks like a river rock but it's pretty cool um, look at the, it's faded kind of on the back and then on the other side it's like dark black and faded that's pretty cool looking river rock um yeah and it's it's very interesting that one it feels like there's like this energy to it this kind of um dark but playful it's weird um and then these guys i was really interested in because they've got like glittery stuff in them um this looks like it's um just quartz um, these um, weird looking they look like crystals and they've got like these two there's three of them I got here um, and they're really really pretty and there there's some parts of it that's super shiny I don't know and then that one's almost clear right there and then this one again has like it's almost like there's druzy in there yellow though it's different and weird and I love it it's really cool so if you guys have any 
thoughts on any of these, let me know what they are because those are really cool. And then these two, I feel like are petrified wood. Um, it actually looks like wood, but it's hard, like a rock. And you can see it looks like there's lines from the wood in there, and it's super flat. That's just crazy. Super flat. And see, it looks like wood there, but it's hard as a stone. It's pretty cool. And then this one is really cool because, again, it's like a stone. But you can see that it was wood at one point, it looks like. There's lines here that shows. It's not really picking up on there, but that's cool. Um, it literally looks like petrified wood. So that's pretty cool. So that's the stones I found um, in his on a farm <laughs> in what used to be riverbanks. Now it's part of his yard. Anyway, on to the crystals. So most of these came in really cool packaging. I can't remember when I got what, but um, some of them were wrapped with really cool, like, wrapping tape, uh, like, little wrapping paper that was, like, party wrapping paper. Uh, some of them were, had little, uh, little stationery with them, really cute cards. But I'm like, I'm so excited to get these and open them that I couldn't tell you which box they came out of at this point. So I'm going on Etsy. I'm just going to show the stores. Uh, for each of these. So this one I think I got first. We'll go smallest to biggest. Maybe. Is that the smallest one? Yeah. Oh, maybe not. This guy is the smallest. And it is a rhododite mushroom and he's so freaking cute and it's like ice cold it's so cute and the bottom is like super pink super cute i don't know if you guys can tell super cute okay so i got that from hot beads fancy And it looks like that. It's 37 kinds of one inch mushroom gemstones, and it's the two bucks. So, yeah, and there's 37 different kinds. So, that's pretty cool. And I have left reviews on all of these, and all the reviews were good. So, the only real complaint I had is about the one I got today because it was ordered one of the first ones I ordered, and I got it today after everything else. And a couple of these came from China. So, I'm like, what are you doing to me? Um, but yeah, so then we got, because the stone is so rare, all I could find was little chips and it is Laramar and they are like, they remind you of this inside of a swimming pool, like the splotchy, ooh, that one's got some really cool tones to it. Hold on. And look how small they are. But see how this little splotchy blue really cool and then this one's got a little bit of brown in it but it's got that sea foam bluish tint to it really cool and these I've just kept in the bag this one's got the pretty like reflective blue uh, spots on it really pretty um, and that one pretty cool this one is cool some of them are bigger than the other, others, but yeah, those are that's the Laramar. Um, I love this bluish, like ocean blue color. Um, and I actually have some chipped beads coming. That's Laramar also to make a bracelet. So I'm so excited about that because really this small is all I can afford because this stone is super, super expensive. Like. I'm going to show you a tower I got here in a minute, and the same tower in a Laramar was like $80, and I'm like, no, I can wait. 
so that was Laramar, and I got it on Crystal Shops USA for six bucks. And they're a lot that the size I got is those stones. <laughs> they look a lot bigger on camera, but they're not. But they all come in. If you ask for quantity one, they all come. They're all that many is gonna you're gonna get that many in the baggie. So there was that. With that same shop, I ordered another rare stone. And that is rhodochrosite. Um, and they do look bigger there than it actually is. But it was nine bucks and it was on sale from thirty dollars for this tiny stone. Uh, but it looks like to me raw bacon. Um, and it's beautiful. I didn't think I would like it, and then I got it, and I'm like, it's stunning. And it's so uber expensive also that this small stone is all I could afford. But I love the feel of it in my hands. And it's got like a little, um, you can't even see, but it's almost like a clamshell and indenture there. And then I love the look pattern on the back here. Really, 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 really cool. Really cool. Really cool. So I love that. So that was both from Crystal Shops USA. Both of those were from there. And she had a good sale going on, so they were pretty cheap for what I could have paid for those. Because um, the Laramar for this little bit now is normally $20 for this. I paid $6 because it was on sale. Um, and then the Rotocrosite, that's normally $30 for this little piece, and I paid $9. Bucks. Um, so it was on sale. Then we're going to go to, oh, this guy. I love it. I'm, I'm going to get a bigger one of this one because it's so gorgeous, and it feels so good in my hand. But it is Caribbean Calcite. And I got that on Chavera. See that? See how close it is? And I paid 10 bucks for this little guy. Worth it. It's gorgeous. Um, it looks like the ocean. Um, there's actually a little bit. Um, you can't tell. There's a tiny speck of, like, Jersey going on in here. Um it looks like the beach at the bottom and the ocean on the top. It is phenomenal. I love it. I love how it feels. Totally going to get a bigger one of these. Um, it's a little bit less expensive than the other ones I just showed you. But it is still a little pricey. You know, maybe this is normal for this. But it's got a nice point on it. I love it. It's so cute. And again, that came from Chavera. And it's actually this one right here is the one I got. Now, if you go to order that, it's not available. <laughs> okay, so moving right along. Before I lose any more daylight. Oh, I got, oh, and I need to find the other little cubes that came with it. Sorry, I forgot to get them out. There's one. Where's the other one? What the heck? Oh, I found you. I found you. So, and I got this little bowl for all my crystals because I'm starting to get a little collection going to put them all in. So, I got this. One of the main things I've been waiting on. And I think I've showed you guys already. It's a bumblebee jasper. This is also a very rare stone and very expensive. This was 13 bucks though. So it wasn't too bad because it is a regular size palm stone. Um, but I love it. I wish there had been a little bit more of the darker orange and black in it. Um, but other than that, I wasn't complaining. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous stone. And I actually got it on the Spirit Nectar. They're pretty cool for 13 bucks. But what I was shocked about when I got the stone, it's got a lot more darker orange there and there than it's looking on camera. It's pretty. But what I didn't expect was an extra gift that came with. And this is, they're little blocks. This one is an amethyst. 
Um, I'm guessing it's a green amethyst because there's a lot of white in there. But it's so cute. And then a unikite. Little, they're little blocks. They're so cute. Was not expecting that. So those were pretty cool to come with that. Okay. Okay. So then we got, just got it in the mail the other day. Black tourmaline point with natural clear quartz. And you got to really specify what size you want because I got a tiny baby. But this tiny baby is super cute. It's got some goldish brown up here. Really cute. Super adorable. I'm going to raise this light up a little bit because it's getting a little dark. Um, but yeah, he's gorgeous. Love it. It almost looks like citrine from the there, but then it's darker brown when you look at it. Almost like a golden honey color. It's really pretty. Really, really pretty. And it's got, I was looking at it under a light earlier. Um, there's a lot of rainbows in this. You can't, I can't tell in this light with the camera I've got. There's a lot of rainbows in that little bitty baby. <laughs> it's so cute. So adorable. So then we got, let me make sure that I'm not missing one. The last two here. So the one I got the other day is the one I've been carrying with me everywhere. It's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. It's bigger size, which is what I wanted. Um, it's got this white going through it that's just like, ugh. And that is yellow jade. And that, I told you guys, I, if you guys watched my channel recently, I've done a few spreads with the solar plexus. For some reason, I was all about buying yellow crystals all of a sudden. Look at those little wavies in there. That's just utterly gorgeous. It reminds me of a banana creamsicle. I wouldn't eat it. It's so delicious. So gorgeous. I love it. Two pieces. I've been carrying it everywhere with me since I got it the other day. And it just makes me so happy. It's just. So full of joy. Um, I love it. Love it. And I thought that's what the Bumblebee Jasper would do. But this one's doing it, doing that job for me. And I love it. I'm like, this is why I bought you. You're so gorgeous. So gorgeous. And it was very inexpensive for such a rare stone. Um, I was expecting to pay more. Uh, but I got it at Stunning Gems. And that's what it looks like. And it's starting to wash out now. But that's it. Stunning gems, if you can see it. Beautiful. And it was 8 bucks. Um, it did come from China, so it took me a couple weeks to get. So, the last one, last but not least, is the one I got today. In the mail, and I got an extra little goodie with it. Was not expecting this to come with it, but it is oh my gosh, Ruby Zoizite and Zoizite from Pretty Beads Finds. You see the name up there. And she's gorgeous. And she's a full, little bit bigger tower than the, the yellow jade. Which I actually prefer this size. Uh, well, they're both good size. But this one fits completely in my hand. Um, I can, I've literally been walking around with work with it and stuff like that. But this guy is flipping gorgeous. And I should have showed this first because there's so much glittery stuff in there. That it's not even picking up on camera. But it is freaking gorgeous 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 stone um i love the point it is so cute so cute i can see a little glitter there but it's like covered in glitter um on the inside um i don't know what that why but it's beautiful beautiful and then to top it off it came with a little um, I keep wanting to say smoky quartz, but it's got a yellow, um, I think it is smoky quartz, but it's got a yellow tint to it. So I don't know, uh, it can't be citrine. 
um, I want to say it's citrine, but citrine's rare, so real citrine is rare. So I'm going to guess it's a smoky quartz, but it looks like it's been beat up a little because it came from China. But it has the necklace that is, you know, adjustable. Um, and that, I thought that was so freaking cool. I'm like, what? That's cool. Was not expecting that. So that is all the crystals I've got recently. I love them all. They're all in my new bowl with all my fam other family. It's all family now. <laughs> um, and I got this bowl at Dollar Tree for a dollar. I'm like, I need a bowl. And then I got this from one of the, um, the selenite uh, tower from one of the um, subscription boxes I had done. Um, and I was like, I'm just going to stick it in the middle of the crystals around it. And then they're all charging at once. So, And I got a little selenite little thing in there that's charging it as well, the ones that are inside. So I thought that was pretty neat. Um, but yeah, that is all my new crystals and my new extra stones that I found. So if you guys have any, if you want to see more of my crystals that are in here, I don't know the names of all of them, the ones I have. Um, I'm just learning, starting out. But if you want to um, see more, let me know. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button. So you're alerted to any future videos and you guys have a great night. Bye.